Good evening. Hello, people. How are you? How was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo el día? How was your day? Hello, Elvis. Excellent. Hello, how are you? Okay, that's great. Yes, my day is great. Okay, it's Maria. a little bit tired. Excuse me, Elvis. A little bit tired. A little bit tired. It's okay. Okay. Jimmy, it's good to see you in time. Hello. Hello. Good evening, Jacqueline. Hello. Good evening, Maria Jose. You're having your dinner. <laughs> Todavía no. <laughs> Hello, Lorena. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Leonor, good evening. Luis, good evening. <laughs> okay, well, it's good to see you. Thank you for connecting on time. Well, today is our class number seven. Can you imagine? Class number seven. Almost the half of the course. Casi la mitad del curso. Tomorrow is half of the course. Yes, you made it. <laughs> well, I have to start by asking or calling out your name and please say present or say here, teacher, okay? So I have to start with Alejandra Sofia Vasquez. Um, Ana del Carmen Sanchez. Present. present. Okay. Uh -huh. Brian Clark. Here, teacher. Okay, Carmen Trejo Trejo. Present. Okay, thank you, Carmen. Diego Ismael Sequina. Elvis Giovanni Bonilla. Present, teacher. Thank you, Jacqueline Vanessa Garcia Sánchez. Present. Jacqueline Carolina. Jenny Valiente de León. Jessica Virginia Rosales. Present. Thank you, Jesse. Jimmy Flores. Present, T-shirt. Thank you, Jose Valladares Morales. Present. Thank you, Jose. Jose Osvaldo Reyes. Um, Crisia Lorena Ríos, eh, Lorena de Los Ángeles, present, thank you, Lore, Luis Cibrián, present teacher, thank you, Luis, Luis José Guardado, Luis, no, ok, Manuel Edgardo Martínez, Um, Margarita Beatriz Mancía. Present. Oh, Margarita, you are sick. I'm so sorry for that. Wow. Okay, María José Navarro. Present. Thank you, Marlene de Jesús Ramírez. Wilber Alfredo. No. Miguel Ángel Meléndez. Present, Miss. Thank you, Mirna Rivas. Okay. Thank you. Um, Morena, eh, Natalie Cristina Roque. Presente. Thank you, Hortensia Stephanie. Hortensia, no. Oscar Lisandro Rivera. Present. Thank you, Lisandro. Okay. Uh, ¿Hay algo que no mencioné? Okay, gracias. Entonces, let's start with today's class. Let me share the screen with you. We have a lot of things for this class. 
So today's topic is prepositions, prepositions of place and numbers. Prepositions of place and numbers. This is class number seven, and today is Thursday, November 10th, 2022. Okay, people, so let's get started. Let's see. The less the objectives we have many we have how to use prepositions in order to describe the location of different objects. Also, you will listen to a conversation. Are you from Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes no questions and WH questions. And also you will become familiar with the numbers from 11 to 103 to talk about your age and the age of relatives and friends. Well, in the last class, we were learning about WH questions. And thank you for your homework, okay? Thank you for sending your homework. I've been checking, I've been uh, looking at the, at the questions you wrote, and they are very good. Thank you for being very responsible. Okay. So um, let's start with the preposition. So place, we have different prepositions to say where things are. ¿A dónde están las cosas? Where things are. So we have the preposition in, inside, sorry, in, in front of, in front of, behind, on, next to and under. So we have the example of the keys. Where are the keys? Porque son plurales. ¿Dónde están las llaves? Where are the keys? The keys are, the keys are in the box. The keys are in front of the box, in frente de. The keys are behind the box, atrás de. The keys are on the box, sobre o encima de. The keys are next to, a la par de. The keys are under, which means debajo de. Okay? So these are the prepositions of place. In, in front of, behind, on, Next to and under. We continue with the next slide. Okay, in this picture, you see a living room with different objects. What objects can you see? Tell me the objects that you can see. The different objects. What objects can you see? Cat, doll, umbrella, picture, ball, uh, chair, robot, car, um, beer, or bears, bird, beer, bird cat, toys, cat, cat, cat flowers, a ball, dog, dog. Apple. Okay, we can see a mirror, pictures, lamps, flower vase, vase. A, robot, a vase, okay, a shindy, an apple umbrella, a couches, car, dog, okay. Now, uh, bueno, ya aprendimos that is and there are. So now you have to use that is or that are using a preposition of place. Well, usually when we are specifying one object, we use a or an. When it's singular, one object, we use a or an. So in this case, for example, we say that is a doll. What is the doll? That is a doll. You have to use in, 
In front of? Uh, in, on the sofa. On the sofa. On. On. It's on. On the sofa. There is a doll on the sofa. Okay, what about number two? The ball. Where is the ball? Where is the ball? There is a ball on the table. Exactly. There is a ball, again, on the table. Okay? Está sobre la mesa o en la mesa. Encima de la mesa, okay? Okay, what about the cat? There is... A cat on the chair. Okay, on the armchair. Well, actually, there is a cat in front of you. So, <laughs> <laughs> cat, and this, you know, is very naughty. So, she wants to learn English. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Well, so, number four, what is the apple? Um. Okay, in this case, we're going to use an, yes, as you said. Under chair? Under, no, under. There is an apple. Why? Because apple comes with a vowel sound. The vowel sounds, before you have a vowel sound in singular, you use the article an, para no decir a apple, a apple, or a umbrella, a orange, you use an, okay? There is an apple. On the table. On the table. Under the table. Number five. Can you complete, please? There is a dog, uh, is a dog under the table. Under the table. There is a dog. Under the table. Okay, number six. There is an umbrella on the sofa. Okay, on the sofa. Number seven. Luis Ibrián. Eh, sí, hola, buenas noches. Una consulta en el número cinco es Ann. Ann. And yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Yes. Ah, okay. Uh, vamos a ver. Yes, sí, quería, quería consultar. Okay. Sí, okay. Gracias, gracias, muy amable. <laughs> Thank you. Dog on the table, under, under the table. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. There is a dog under the table, sorry. <laughs> and there is an umbrella, an umbrella um, on the sofa. Um, There's a picture in front of the wall. Well, in this case, it's on. Bueno, porque aquí hay una, ¿eh? There is a picture on the wall. Sobre o en la pared. ¿Ok? On the wall. There is a picture on the wall. Number A, there is a vase. There is a vase. The vase is this. El jarro. On the on the, the table. Yes. On the table. And the robot? In front of. No. Okay, there is, on the, is, there is a robot on the floor. On the floor. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me where is the lamp? What is the lamp? The last is on the, the table. lamp is on the I do not remember what's the name that behind to behind the sofa. Okay, the lamp is yeah. behind the sofa. Behind the sofa. Great. Can you tell me where is the car? 
The car is uh, in front of the sofa. So in front of the sofa or next to the sofa. Next to. Mm -hmm. A la par de. Sofa is this, but okay. this is called an armchair. 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 Okay. So the car is next to the armchair. Mm -hmm. Okay. And tell me, where is where is the chimney? The chimney. This is the chimney. The chimney. Where is the chimney? The in in the wall. Mm -hmm. um, maybe two in the front of the sofa. In front of. In front of the sofa. In front of the sofa. Okay, great. We have um we have more examples or more exercises to practice in the next slide. Okay, we have more things here. Okay, again, we have to in, under, on, next to, between, in front of, behind. I will call your name and you tell me. Okay, number one, Jacqueline Garcia. Perdón. Can you complete number one? There is. Mm -hmm. There is a ball. There is um um there is a ball a sofa no armchair aquí está mire solo va a completar there is a ball on the uh, on, on, on the armchair. Okay, there is a ball on the armchair. Okay, number two, Luis Ibrian. There is a uh, there is an umbrella and in front in front in front of the do the floor. But solo van a there is a, an umbrella. There is an umbrella ah, okay. on the floor. There is an umbrella ah, on the floor. On the floor. Yes, here. Okay. An umbrella on the floor. Okay. On the floor. An okay. umbrella. Number three, Jimmy. What? Number three here. Okay, there is a picture. Um, uh, on. Oh, on the on the wall. Yes. There is a picture on the. Wall. Yes. Okay. Number four, Luis Galdames. No está en la cama. No está sobre la cama. Where is the apple? An apple. There is an apple. Aquí están las prepositions. Miren, in, dentro de, under, debajo, on, sobre, next to, a la par, between, en medio de, in front of, en frente de, behind, detrás de. 
So there is an apple. Under the bed. Under the bed. No está exactamente debajo. Down. ¿Qué dicen los demás? Next to. In front of. Ok. I would say in front of. In front of. So there is an apple in front of the bed. In front of the bed. Ok, number five. Leona. Thank you, Luis. They is um bike sería ay no sé cómo se dice uh on the floor on the floor yes okay number six Alejandro Valladares there is a bus bus on the on the table there is a base on the table. Okay, there is a base on the table. Yes. Um, okay, what about number seven, Jessica? Uh, there is a flower. Uh, next to the sofa. A la par? Detrás. detrás. O detrás. Ah, behind. 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 Okay. Behind. Behind. There is a flower behind. Okay. Actually, there is a flower behind the teacher. Okay. But there is a flower behind the sofa. Okay behind the sofa. Number eight, Lorena de Najarro, number eight. Uh, there is a chair uh, in front of the table. Okay, or we can say in the table, porque queda adentro, ¿verdad? In the table. In the table, mm -hmm. okay. Screen. Number nine, Maria Jose. There is a lamp next to the sofa. And the arm armchair. Cuando tenemos dos cosas, ¿qué decimos? ¿Cuál usaremos? Between. 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 Between the sofa and the armchair. Okay, so this is called armchair. Armchair. See you? Armchair. Okay. Con brazos. Armchair. <laughs> okay, good. Number 10, the robot. Let's see, Miguel. Uh, there is a robot uh, on. Yes, on the, bed. the bed. Okay, good job. Eleven. Marlene de Jesus. Hola. Yeah. There yes. is a mouse. Seven. Uh -huh. There is a mouse. <laughs> it's here. No está debajo de la silla. In front, in front of. Mm, pues tampoco está enfrente, está. 
B, B, B high. B high. Yes, it's correct, Marlene. The mouse is behind the chair. Okay, number 12. Alejandra Sofia? There is a window on the sofa. Bueno, no está sobre el sofá. Está in front of next to a la, la par. Window next to the sofa. Okay. Next to the sofa. And number 13, ahí nos falta Natalie. There is a flowers on the bay. Okay. Bueno, la flor está adentro. Ajá. Between sí. sería. No, under, perdón, under. Va, under debajo. Mm. Adentro, de, decíamos. In. 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 Off. Under. Next. On. Behind. ¿Ok? Vamos a ver entonces. Bueno, les voy a enviar unos ejercicios para que puedan seguir practicando. Veo que ahí necesitamos un poquito de práctica. Pero pueden escribir ahorita oraciones usando las preposiciones. Vaya, podemos usar esta misma imagen, pero con otros objetos. Other objects, por ejemplo, the teddy bear, the doll, the cat, the curtains. The cabinet, the carpet. Okay, and you can please type the sentences in the chat. You can type the sentence in the chat. Okay. Let's practice the preposition. Practice the prepositions, please. In, on, under, next to, between. In front of, behind. I will be reading your sentences. Escriban las oraciones en el chat using the prepositions and um, taking this picture as an example, also as a reference. Okay, there is a cat under the table. Thank you, Maria Jose. It's that's correct. The cat is under the table. Mm -hmm. Other, please. Miss, how do you say plato in English? Plato, plate. Plato, plate. Okay. Yes. There is a picture on the wall. Yes, a picture of two rabbits, maybe. There is a TV on the table. At, well, imaginary. <laughs> a TV hay una tele dice en la mesa I don't see it or you can say negative you can say it negative also there isn't or there aren't for example there isn't a fan in the room no hay un ventilador right there, there is a pillow on the bed okay There is an umbrella on the floor. There is a doll on the sofa, okay. There's a plate on the shelf, that's correct, Miguel. There is an apple in the... Bye. Bueno, 
Elvis, trate de hacerlo de lo que podemos ver acá. In front of the bed. There is a flower on the table. Okay. Ana. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice la, es, la escalera ahí en, que está en el... En el... Stairs. Stairs. Una pregunta. Eh, okay. Plato dijo que se decía plate. Y yeah. entonces dish, ¿qué es? También. Pero dish es más como el platillo con la comida. Aunque también es el plato donde comemos. Dish or plate. Ok, gracias. We have the bed, is this type of bed, is bone bed. Eh, ¿Cómo se dice en español? I forgot, camarote, right? Bone bed. The bunk bed. Y lo que está arriba de, de, la, de, la, de esa camarote, ¿cómo se dice? Una cosita que está arriba que tiene como una ruedita, no sé qué es. <laughs> okay, this is a plate. Is no, the correction and this no. shelf, un estante, shelf. Okay, there is an apple next to the table. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes, Ana. Pero la, la escalera está a la par o está frente del camarote? Next to. I would say next to. Next to. Yes. Miss. Yes, Miguel. Pero si alguien dice que está enfrente también del, 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 del camarote, no estaría mal. Bueno. O, 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 que, o, o, cómo, o, cómo, o cómo yo puedo asegurar que estoy diciendo eh, la preposición correctamente o la estoy usando correctamente. Bueno, por ejemplo, aquí, por, aquí podemos ver en la cama que aquí iría la cabeza, ¿verdad? Entonces... Hacia un lado diría que es a la par y aquí diría que es enfrente. Ok, entonces si está detrás de la si está del lado de la cabeza o la parte de ahí sería detrás de. Sí, por ejemplo aquí the armchair is behind the bed. The ah, ok. And, and I would dependiendo say... la, dependiendo la, 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 la forma o que esté el objeto, así vamos a usarlo. Uh -huh. The table is in front. Wow. Between the, the table and the king bed, algo así. Oh, the table is between the bunk bed and the bike. Okay. Check. Thank you, me. There is a rabbit on the wall painting. There are two rabbits. There are two rabbits on the wall painting. Okay, or in the picture. There is a carpet on the floor. There is a cut between two chairs. Okay. Um, can you tell me about your in your your house? For example. In my house, there is a bathroom next to the bedroom. There is a bathroom next to the bedroom. Okay, there are curtains behind the sofa. Okay, there are two rides in the picture. There is a bike in front of the armchair. There is a picture behind the sofa. Thank you. 
in my house there is a TV in front of the sofa. Y para decir arriba de, por ejemplo, the picture is above, above the armchair. Para decir arriba de, usamos above, arriba de, above. My, the teacher is in front of the computer. Or, yes, in front of the camera. I am in front of the camera. The cell phone is behind the teacher. The mouse is next to the teacher. Okay, good. Now guys, we continue with the next activity. I will send you more exercises so you can practice the propositions later on. So let's go over the next. We have a conversation. Are you from Seoul? I'm going to read the conversation, okay? Tim, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? I'm sorry. Thank you. But you are listening. Okay, I'm going to start. Are you from Seoul? Are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we're not from Seoul. We are from Dujon. Dujon. So is your first language Korean? Yes, it is. Well, as you notice in this conversation, we have some questions with the verb to be. Well, ya aprendimos la estructura de las preguntas con el verbo to be. Esa es una review. Are you from California? We are from Korea. My mother is Korean. Are you from Seoul? We are not from Seoul. We are from the June. Okay. So these are questions for um, questions to ask about where you are from. If I ask you, Margarita, are you from La Libertad? No, we're not from La Libertad. No, I am not. No, I am not from La Libertad, okay? Let me ask, Jimmy, are you from San Salvador? Yes, teacher. I am from San Salvador. Okay, good. Um, let's see. Luis Galdames, are you from Santa Ana? No, uh, I'm not from Santa Ana. I'm from Lobasco. Y Lobasco? Sí. Wow, yeah. that's great. Elvis, are you from Nicaragua? No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not from Nicaragua. I'm from La Paz. El Salvador or Bolivia? No, it's in Salvador. It's in El Salvador. Okay. Natalie, are you from Spain? No, I'm not. I am from Santa Ana. Oh, you are from Santa Ana. Okay, great. I was in Santa Ana today. Today I went to Santa Ana. So I went to say hello, Natalie. I am here in Santa Ana. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Good. So let's look at the structure for these questions. Yes, no questions would be. We have the verb to be. Y what, ¿Cuáles son las tres formas del verbo to be? Are uh, is your um, is, 
are. I am. You are. We are. They are. Uh, he is. She is. It is. Okay. Then we have the subject and the complement. And we have these examples. Are you 25 years old? Yes, I am. Is Miguel a teacher? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. Is Erika a secretary? No, she isn't. She is a nurse. Is Irma married? Yes, she is. Are Victoria and Ernesto co-workers, compañeros de trabajo, co-workers? No, they aren't. Are we, are we Guatemalan? No, we aren't. We are Salvadorian. So this is the instruction. Remember the verb to be, the subject, and the complement. Well, but you know this already. Ustedes ya saben, ya se saben esto, porque ya lo habíamos visto. Pero cuando preguntamos, are you from, or is he or she from, estamos preguntando de dónde es alguien. Cuando usamos from, tenemos que mencionar, lo voy a anotar por acá. Are you from, y le vamos a poner... Aquí, are you from? And you mention the city or the country. Okay? Are you from? And you mention the city or the country. The same with is she from. Okay? Pero podemos hacer otra forma. Hay otra manera. Otra estructura. Solo que lo haré más grande. Okay. Es, are you... Plus, or is she, plus the nationality. En este no usamos el from. Y veamos un ejemplo. Are you Chinese? ¿Eres China? De chi ¿Eres China? Are you Chinese? No. I'm not Chinese. Ok, entonces, ok, es diferente, ¿verdad? Es diferente, eres de, are you from, eres de El Salvador, are you from El Salvador? Yes, I am. Are you Salvadorian? Yes, no, I am. You are not, you're not Salvadorian? Solo no respuesta, Miss. Ok. Vale, pero si ven la diferencia de las dos preguntas. Me voy a poner otro ejemplo. Are you from... Y menciono el país. Are you from El Salvador? O la ciudad. Are you Salvadorian? Are you from? Quiere decir, eres de. Are you Salvadorian? No necesita usar el, el from. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Entonces, ¿qué vamos a hacer ahorita? Tenemos 15 minutes or 10 minutes. And you are going to create a conversation using are you from? Also, try to include negative statements and present to the class. For example, I will ask, try to make it funny, guys. Try to make it creative. Jacqueline, are you from United States? And Jacqueline can say, no, I'm not. I'm from Argentina. Oh, really interesting. You are Argentinian. And you can say, my best friend is Argentinian. Okay, so you're going to work in pairs and you're going to create this conversation. Van a trabajar en parejas y van a hacer una conversación. Hagan la chistosa, por favor. No estén tan serio, bien serio, los miro ahora, no sé qué pasa. <laughs> okay, so, ¿está claro lo que vamos a hacer o tenemos alguna duda? Yes, teacher. 
Yes, I... ¿Miguel? No, todo correcto. Ok. ¿Todo correcto? ¿Todo cal? <risa> Yo que me alegro. ¿no? <risa> Vaya, entonces, este, no sé, todos están... No, nadie tiene ningún problema porque sí pongo un grupo de tres. Si alguien no puede participar, pero si nadie... Bueno, si no, pues... Todos ahí están en parejas. Vámonos. ¿Algún problema, Luis? Hola. Hola, hola. No. Eh... Hola, Ana. Hola, Jessica. Teacher. Dígame. Ok, haríamos una conversación de tres personas, ¿verdad? No, de... Bueno. Oh, ah, podríamos... Ah, ok. En parejas, no. pero si hay tres, es bien tres. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, hi, Ana. Eh, Are you... ¿Qué dice? Todavía no está en grupo. Ah, perdón. Sí, no sé qué les ha pasado, que algunos... Tienen que darle a aceptar. Todos recibieron la invitación. No sé qué pasó. Me saca, no me une a ninguno. Voy a intentar. Otra vez. Ah, ¿cómo no? Sí, es, sí estaba, pero quizás no había nadie más en su grupo. La voy a mover a la sala 8. Y Ana Sánchez tiene la invitación. Tiene la invitación para las... Me dice que no ha entrado. Jessica tampoco no ha entrado. Eh, buenas noches. Buenas noches. Me uní a la sala, pero creo que nadie más. No había nadie. Ya lo volví a mandar a otra. Ok, gracias. Se me desapareció el, el cuadrito. Ay, Jessica. Perdón. Luis, ¿qué pasa, Luis? Ah, estaba en una sala, yo solo, no había nadie, no tenía, no tenía no había nadie. Vaya, bueno, lo voy a mandar a las 7. Alguien tiene que estar ahí. <ríe> ya no hay nadie en la 1. Borrar la 1, no se puede. Vamos a repasar. Hola, hello, you have to make a new conversation. Tienen que hacer una convers otra conversación ustedes similar diciendo, are you from? Invéntese, bueno, no invéntese, ¿verdad? pero puede usar <ríe> otra nacionalidad, otro país. 
Ok. Ok, Ana. ¿Are you from Guatemala? From Guatemala. Eh, pero, teacher, acá eh, esa misma conversación, solo que con diferente nombre. Exacto, y con diferentes países. Ah, es eso mismo. Uh -huh. Solo que es Guatemala, ¿verdad? Pero diga que no, que no es de Guatemala, diga que es de otro lugar. Porque tiene que usar una negativa. Oh. A negative statement. Eh, sería... Ah, es cierto. Ah, vaya. Si dice Lorena le pregunta, ¿Are you from Guatemala? Y usted le va a decir, No, I am not. I am from Brazil. Really? No, ah, ya, 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 la hoy sí ya la entendí, ya la entendí. Ok. Vaya, Lorena. Hello. Sorry, Natalie. Nos quedamos solas. <laughs> no, ahí está Elvis. Is Sí, ah, es que pensé que ya habíamos vuelto todos, por eso no hablaba. <risa> <risa> Sorry, eh, teníamos, estábamos en, en un, no sé qué, no sé si sí, era o sea, no, <risa> no, no, lo siento. Eh, ahora le podemos preguntar, va, porque yo le digo a ella de que ella, eh, lo que estamos diciendo de sobre mi mamá. De que tú me decías que, que le habías entendido a la ticha que cuando digo, por ejemplo, she's from... No, no sé ni cómo es la pregunta, hasta ya me hice bola. Es la que pregunta vaya, que... la pregunta es que yo le pregunté a él, espérate, yo le pregunté a él que si tiene familia en España y él me dijo, bueno, yo lo que entendí es que cuando nosotros decimos que I'm from, es que vive en España. Y si ponemos como que is Spain, es que es española o algo así. Spanish. Are you Spanish? No, es que yo, yo le di, ella me dijo que eh, she's from eh, es, Spain. Entonces, she's... Uh -huh, she's Spain. Entonces yo le dije que no, she's not. She's from Salvadorian, but she lives in Spain. Ah. Porque, porque ella no es española. Ok. She is not Spanish. She is from, she is Salvadorian, but she lives in Spain. In Spain. Ajá. Uh -huh. Así le decía. ¿Quién está hablando? ¿Quién es? 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 ¿Quién Ok, good. Okay, well, continue. Practice the conversation, please. Ok, thank you. <laughs> ya terminamos. <laughs> continue practicing. Ok. Um, to start. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, uh, are you... <laughs> Are you from Colombia, Mexico? What is your name? Ah, Luis, Luis. 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 Are you... <laughs> Empecemos. Hola. Uh, no sé cómo preguntar. Luis, are you from... Are you from Colombia? La, 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 la misma conversación que hicimos. Okay. Are you 
from Colombia? Mm, no, I am not. I am from El Salvador. Okay. I am from El Salvador too. Yo soy también del Salvador. I am from I am from ah. El Salvador too. Ah, okay. Oh. Puedes decir eso. I am from El Salvador too. Um, I am from San Miguel, and you? Is an example. Okay. I am. From, ah, okay. I'm from La Libertad. Okay. I am from Salvador. Somos de Correa. Correa. Uh -huh. So this. Hola, Miss. Hello, Alejandro. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Oscar. Aquí es Great. That is the purpose. That is the objective. Use your ideas, your creativity, your imagination. Continue. Continue, okay. Jimmy. Yo, Jimmy. <laughs> the teacher. Es que está leyendo la conversación en como el, con el teléfono está conectado. Ah, okay, yes. Okay, I understand. Ahí apareció. Oh, ahorita. No sé quién empieza así, el oído. Tengo que responder. Espérame un segundo. Practice. Are you from? Hello. My name is Marlene. How are you? Very good. Oh, oh, yeah, oh. Así no se escucha. Okay, mi interferencia. Oh, oh, yeah. I am 32. How old are you? How old are you? Así se dice la edad. Así se pregunta. ¿Cuántos años tienes? How old are you? How old? I am 32. Yes. Well, guys, it's time. I mean, try to finish. Try to finish quickly because I'm going to close the rooms. Mm -hmm. I am is 32. No, solo I am 32. I am 32. I am, perdón. 32. Porque está hablando de usted, ¿verdad? Yo tengo 32. I am 32. Uh, I am 32. Wow, guys, the hour went so fast. Okay, did you finish the conversation? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Natalie, would you like to present your conversation with your partner? Please. <laughs> okay, did you? <laughs> Natalie, please. Okay, lights, camera, action. Hello, are you from Canada? Uh, hello, I am not. I am from Spain. Oh, wow, Spain. Okay, and my... you, what are you from? I'm from USA. 
Oh, my best friend from USA. Your best friend? What's the name of the best friend? And his name is Jessica. Oh, Jessica. My sister, the name is too, Jessica. Wow. <laughs> and you have family from in Spain? Yes, I have. My mom lives in Spain. Oh. You have, uh, you have his family? Her Spain? from Spain? Uh, sorry. Say again. I know. Uh, my, my, <laughs> my brother is he, live. My brother is live in Canada, but he is from El Salvadorian. Oh, wow. Really? What's the name of the brother? Um, I I two brothers. His name, first brother is Luis, and two brothers, his name, Eduardo. Wow. Ali, you have my brother. Um, yes, a little bit. Um, my brother's is the name to Luis. Finish, teacher. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for your conversation, okay? Yes, just a reminder. Remember, are you from country? Are you nationality? Okay. El from no lo usamos cuando usamos la nacionalidad. Okay. Well, it's 903. <laughs> Ay, no nos alcanzó el tiempo. This class, but uh, we continue tomorrow. Okay. And my I will send the homework in the WhatsApp because we need more vocabulary and we need to practice the structure. But we continue tomorrow in the class. Ok, and I will send the homework. Eh, solo una, un comentario rapidito de alguien que nos diga qué aprendimos hoy. O qué aprendió hoy. Solo uno. Ok. Miguel. I learned to spell uh, the nationality and the Usar, use, yes, use. I learned to use. Uh, the structure, the yes and not question, uh, short. Okay, the structure of yes, no questions. Okay, good. And using from. And you Thank you so much, guys, for your participation and for your responsibility in the class. Tomorrow, you present the conversation, so you have more time more time to practice okay great see you tomorrow see you tomorrow okay good night sweet dreams margarita descanse que se sienta mejor get better get better soon bye 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 bye